just like with a good story, your first impression should spark the interviewer's interest within minutes of your initial meeting. Metaphorically speaking, if the interviewers are interested in the first couple paragraphs, they're going to continue reading. In the first couple of minutes, there are many different things you can do to make a good first impression. Don't be late. It wastes the interviewer's time and makes it seem like you don't care much about the job. Do be punctual. Arrive to interview 10 to 15 minutes before your scheduled interview time. If you feel that you might be running late, be courteous and contact the interviewer to let them know. This will give them the opportunity to reschedule if it is more convenient. Don't high five, fist bump, hug, give a sweaty handshake, or squeeze their hand super hard. Do introduce yourself with a solid handshake. If your hands sweat when you're nervous, keep a tissue on hand to absorb the moisture while you're waiting to be introduced. Don't be rude or withdrawn, whether you're talking to the interviewer or to the people at reception. Do be friendly, smile, and maintain eye contact. Be friendly to anyone you're in contact with from the moment you walk in the door to the moment you leave. Smiling will create a warm and positive impression, and maintaining eye contact will demonstrate your self-confidence, focus, and respect for others. Don't slouch, cross your arms, or angle yourself away from your interviewer. Poor posture or closed body language might make yourself seem disinterested or defensive. Do sit up straight with your feet flat on the floor, hands in your lap or chair, and your back against the chair. This open posture will show that you're interested and engaged. Don't fidget. Unintentional body movements such as shaking your leg or playing with a pen could distract the interviewer from your answers. Do use methods to avoid fidgeting. Hold your hands on your knees to be more aware of your leg movements or hold your hands together. Remove any objects in your vision that you might be tempted to play with. Don't shout, whisper, speak super quickly, or be monotonous. Do be mindful of the pace, clarity, tone, and volume of your speech. Speak clearly and articulate your words. Show enthusiasm in your tone of voice and maintain an appropriate volume for the size of the room and number of people you're meeting with. Mock interviews and practicing out loud can help you improve your speech. Don't tell stories that have nothing to do with the job. Do keep your answers relevant. Stay on point and keep the content of your answers relevant to the requirements of the job. Don't give answers that are too short or very long. Do take your time when answering, but be aware of the interviewer's body language to identify if your answers are going on too long. Are they looking at their watch or the clock to check the time? Depending on the question, a one to two minute response is typically appropriate, but assume the interviewer knows nothing about you and provide enough detail to answer the questions clearly. Don't get angry or blame others when talking about previous jobs. Past situations may be emotionally charged, therefore avoid using blaming or negative language when discussing previous employers, colleagues, or work environments. Do be positive. They're looking for a candidate that displays positivity and who will fit well within their team. Make sure to use positive and constructive language when discussing conflicts or difficult situations. Don't wear any clothing that is too tight, revealing, or uncomfortable. Avoid noisy or distracting jewelry or patterns, heavy watches, and loud makeup. Be aware of scent-free policies. Do dress to impress. Wear professional or business casual attire. Choose solid colors and subtle patterns, and make sure your clothes are clean, ironed, and not wrinkly. Ensure you are well-groomed by having clean and neat hair. Your professional image and visual presentation weigh heavily on the employer's impression of you. As a rule of thumb, focus on dressing one step above what they would wear to the workplace you're applying to. This may involve researching the company beforehand or asking the person who is called to schedule an interview what the dress code is. A good first impression can spark the interviewer's interest in you. Follow these tips to make a confident and professional first impression.